friends welcome back to the vlog good morning i woke up today feeling great i'm gonna have a good productive day today i have a list of things that i need to get done and i wanted to bring you guys along with me last night i planned to wake up early which i did but to go for a early morning walk but then this morning when i woke up my body honestly was like aching and sore and i was just like i'm gonna take the morning off listen to my body today's my day off from the gym anyways and i always have active rest days so i just wanted to have more of a chill morning because i'm always like go 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 in the mornings and yeah just wanted to listen to my body i did my skincare made the bed i'm drinking my coffee now which i never have coffee early in the mornings anymore because like i said i'm always go 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 also sorry for that sound my boyfriend just got out of the shower and he's blow drying his hair <laughs> today i have a lash appointment i'm gonna go get my lashes lifted it's honestly been like three months since i last went and they definitely need it now and then i also want to do my nails i need to run a couple errands i have some clothes that i need to donate i need to go to ups to pick up some packages and then i might also do a target run so yeah it's just gonna be a fun little girls day hanging out i just made a really quick breakfast Breakfast. honestly i'm not that hungry so i just made sure i had some protein in my breakfast so i just made some eggs and bacon and then i have my vitamins that i need to take which i'm gonna walk you guys through what i take right now does anyone else eat their eggs with ketchup i have to have my eggs with ketchup if not can't eat them and i always get the no sugar added ketchup and it tastes just as good i love eggs they're so simple and so yummy so i have my little pill case right here where i organize all of my vitamins weekly that way i keep track of the days that i'm taking them and then they're all just in one little section versus having to go through like five different pill cases or vitamin cases and i always take my vitamins with food because i don't want to have an upset stomach so first off i have this one right here which is my fish oil and i love this one specifically because it has a vanilla coating on it so when i take it it doesn't taste super fishy and like i don't have a burpy nasty aftertaste and fish oil is just really good for joints skin mental well-being and stuff like that i take it mainly for my skin and joints that's why i choose to take it but it also has like so many other benefits to it that one is from jaya's health vitamins and then the next one i have is this one right here this is a turmeric i take two of these a day but i take them separate with two separate meals so one for breakfast and then one with either lunch or dinner and then turmeric is really really good for your joints for inflammation for arthritis for anything that has to do with your boin boin <laughs> oh my god your bone or joint health it's really good for that and the reason that i take this is because i suffer from a lot of joint pain i always have since i've been little i like to take supplements to help reduce inflammation and pain so so that's why i take this this is also from js health vitamin and then the final one that i take from js health is a little vitamin d this is also great for bone health and then also for heart health and then just overall well-being so take one of these a day and they're so like cute and tiny and the last pill form that i take in the mornings are these ones right here these ones are from ray wellness i get these at target and this is just a vaginal balance so this is just going to keep everything down there regulated smelling good and making sure it's top notch you know these do have a like garlic taste to them but since i've been taking them for quite a while now i don't even taste it anymore when i take them when i first started taking them it was pretty rough because it was very garlicky but now it's like whatever and then next up, I have my little Symbiotica pouch right here. So I just started taking supplements from this brand earlier this morning. I showed you guys I had my magnesium and then I'm also taking their vitamin C. I heard of them on the Skinny Confidential podcast as well as JS Health Vitamins. I listen to that podcast religiously and they always have like doctors, nutritionists, and they had the founder of this brand on there and I was like sold to try his products. So I've been taking their vitamin C and the magnesium. The vitamin C is honestly just good for your overall immunity your energy and vitamin c is really really good for your skin as well so i've been taking this and it tastes pretty good it's citrus vanilla flavor i will say it's very potent like the flavor so i can't just like down it i have to kind of like take it in little sips and like wash it with water because the flavor is very potent it's not nasty but it like just tastes strong as well with the magnesium the magnesium has a interesting 
texture to it and i'm a texture person so i prefer to drink that with like my coffee or my protein shake so that's why i added the magnesium into my coffee and magnesium is really good for muscle relaxation for focus for brain function so i like to take that in the morning or throughout the day that is my current supplement routine i also always drink a pre and probiotic but i'm out of that right now so i don't have that in my current routine and also in no way shape or form am i telling you that you guys need to take these supplements or drink these vitamins this is just what i do for myself and for my own personal reasons but i just wanted to share that with you guys somehow i am running well i'm not necessarily running late but i'm a little behind so i'm trying to rush to get ready now i didn't do my makeup or anything like that because on the like requirement for the appointment is like to not wear makeup so i'm going bare face which i don't mind i did kind of want to have makeup on though like to go run errands afterwards and you know look a little presentable but whatever it is what it is i'll let my skin breathe i started using this native deodorant well actually i got i got this travel size one the coconut and vanilla to test it out and see how i like it and if it works and honestly i'm really liking it so i got this full size one this is the like, lilac and white tea so i haven't had any issues with it it's made without parabens and aluminum so i've been really looking for a deodorant that does not have alum aluminum that works and this one has been working for me so happy about that and then i'm also using this lotion from first so this is an spf lotion which we love because i don't have to apply like separate spf aside from my lotion this is already mixed in together and it's mineral i have to use mineral lotion because i am very sensitive to like regular lotions so we love that but i just have to work it in because mineral lotions tend to be more white and sometimes leave a white cast but i have not had any issues with this but i already applied my face spf i also do body spf because it is very important to take care of our skin we do not want skin cancer and we do not want to look like a shriveled up grape when we're older wear your spf i also just brush my teeth and did a little mouthwash because when you're laying on the bed you know they're in your face and you're talking and like we don't, we don't want bad breath i could do a little concealer but i'm like you know what let's just let's just embrace the imperfections we got going on i also restrained my hair a little bit because it was looking a little funky so pretty much ready to go i just need to get my bag get whatever i'm gonna take with me to go run errands and head out the door i just got to my appointment here's a little before action on the lashes don't mind the brows and here is the after they look so good you guys i look a little crazy and sorry if you can hear the ac it's freaking hot out so i have it like full blast i have to pee i should have peed while i was in there <sighs> Now I just need to figure out what to do next. I don't know if I want to go home or... I need to go pee, that's what I need to do. crazy right now it's so freaking hot outside you guys but i just pulled up to the summit this is like my last well not my last stop one of my last stops they have the store airy here and i want to go look for a bikini because i haven't told you guys but i'm going to the beach next week so i want to try to find a bathing suit and then i just left target right now it was kind of a fail because i was looking for some shirts that my boyfriend really likes from there to work out in but i was going between two different styles because i'm not 100 percent sure which one it was and one of the styles didn't have his size or like colors that he would wear and then the other style did have his size in two colors so i got those two just in case and then i also picked up a little protein shake because i am getting a little hungry i'm gonna run in super quick to airy hopefully i find something if not head on back home and then the donate the donation drop off is like on the way home i'm finally back home thank the lord because it is hot out there you guys like i was i was ready to come home i hate running errands during the summertime because it's so hot outside and then going from store to another store to just like getting back in a hot car getting out in the heat it's 
It's a lot and I hate doing it. I was able to get done everything that I needed to get done. So I'm happy about that. The last thing I did was drop off the donations and I just got home and made myself a little sandwich because I was hungry and we are here now. But I want to show you guys the only thing that I really picked up for myself because I went to Aerie. I think that's the last time I talked to you guys. I went to Aerie and they legit had no swimsuits, no bathing suits, no nothing. And I was kind of like a little bit confused because I feel like they always have swimsuits in their store and and they legit had nothing. They just had like the usual like comfy stuff, their offline collection, and then like their underwears and bras. So I was like, okay, well this was a fail. Didn't find anything there, but then there was a Nordstrom rack in that same area. I went there to go look for swimsuits as well. And same thing, they didn't have anything. I'm like, are stores starting to remove their swimsuits already because it's like the end of July or something, but it's technically still summer. So I'm confused, I don't know. But at Nordstrom rack, I did find something, which I'm so excited about. I got these sandals that I love and I'm obsessed with because I already have these in black. It's the Steve Madden Mona sandals and these are the bone leather color. I have the black leather ones. They're beautiful. I actually wanted to get my hands on these, but I was like not trying to pay the same price again. Target actually has some that are very, very similar, but Target has been sold out for many months now. And I'm like, you know what, whatever. So I didn't even think twice about these anymore. I did want them still, but I wasn't like dying to have them. But Nordstrom Rack had them for $49 and online i think they are 90 dollars. let me double check yes 89 dollars on their website so i paid full price for the black ones which like i don't mind because i love them and i wear them all the time but i just can't believe i found these and they're pretty much in perfect condition they do look like they might have been a return or somebody just like tried them on in store because they look a little dirty from the bottom. But other than that, like they're in perfect condition. And I was just confused. I asked the girl, I was like, are these on clearance? Like, are they final sale? And she's like, no, you have 30 days to bring them back if you decide to. So best believe I snatched these up. And I just love them because they're so comfortable. They go with everything and they're just perfect summer sandals. So happy about that. If you guys do want them, I'll link them, but you're gonna have to pay for full price for them because I'll see maybe if Nordstrom Rack has them on sale on their website actually because I might be able to find them on there for you guys. But they are definitely worth the 90 something dollars that I paid for the black ones, I think they are. And then I have my Amazon stuff that I picked up from UPS. So the first thing I got was a set of two towels because like I said, I'm going to the beach next week, which I'm so excited about and I'm definitely gonna be vlogging that trip. We're going back to Florida. We're gonna be like in the 30A Destin, Panama City Beach area. It's like three different areas, but in that region. These looked cute online and they were so cheap. It was like two of them for like 10 bucks. Definitely gonna have to wash them, but I think these are going to be perfect. Look at that. They're very thin, but I think this is perfect for the beach just to lay out. Like this isn't to dry yourself or anything like that. And they're long. They have this little like detail, stripe detail right here with a little fringe. So they absorb easily, they dry easily, they're lightweight and they're 100% cotton. So, and the size of them are 39 by 71. They seem to be good quality. So I'll link these for you guys. The next thing I got was a beach bag because I don't have a dedicated beach bag that's waterproof and whatnot. Okay, this Cute. I didn't realize the material was gonna be kind of like this. What do you call this? Not velvet, like plushy material. Oh, perfect, this is huge. This will definitely hold the towels. There's like a waterproof lining in there. There's little pockets. And then it comes with an extra little baggie for like toiletries and stuff. So that's nice. And then it's pretty big, so. This is what it looks like has a bunch of pockets on the outside which is perfect for like easy access for like say a water bottle sunscreen my phone really like that yeah i think this is the perfect size and i like that the straps are long and comfortable and of course i had to go with the neutral vibe but this is it up close oh and it also has a zipper in the back nice very spacious love that 
I think this one was like 30 bucks, 20, between like 20 and $30, I want to say. So 10 out of 10 on that. And it had really, re really good reviews on Amazon. I always check reviews because I don't want to waste my time buying something. I also did shopping a couple weeks ago on Target because they had a bunch of cute stuff and I got like beachy vibe stuff. I made a TikTok on it. I think I actually posted it on my shorts on here, but I got some stuff dedicated for this trip. It was like a little, let me show you guys. So I got this woven bag with this cute little like detail looks like this i'm obsessed with it and then it has a zipper at the top and it's like very deep and it has a zipper pocket inside and then little pockets on the inside as well and then this super cute bag that you can use like crossbody like this love or you can remove the straps and then just use it on the handle like this so Super cute bags from Target. I think now I'm just gonna honestly relax for a little bit, decompress, cool down, and then do my nails because my nails are in desperate need of being done. I don't think I've done them for over a week. I kind of just removed my nail polish and then let them breathe. It's time to do them. I am making myself a liquid IV because it is... 4 40 p.m it's about to be 5 p.m and i need a little hydration as well as some energy and this right here is gonna do it for me i get my liquid iv packs from costco and last time i went they didn't have the original ones which is the lemon lime ones i believe and those ones are just energizing or not energizing hydrating ones these ones they are energizing ones and they also hydrate you it says energy for performance brain power focus and mood and i'm feeling a little drained right now just from like being out in the sun and all that stuff so i need a little pick me up so i can do my nails and then i still have to make dinner and yeah we still got you know some time left this is in the flavor yuzu pineapple and it tastes really really good i've only had a few of these and i like them i do feel like they give you a little bit of energy but it's not like like i don't feel like cracked out or whatever kind of like with pre-workouts or energy drinks i don't feel like too over the top just use my little hand frother i'm not a huge fan of like pineapple drinks but this tastes really good because it's not like too overpowering i love pineapple but i just don't love the like super sweet pineapple drinks oh my god it tastes so good it's like so refreshing i don't know i don't even know how to explain it but it's so good i was relaxing for like the last hour and a half well i say relaxing but i was actually editing a tiktok and i had to do like a voiceover and i uploaded it so got that done and i took my dog out to use the bathroom and you guys it's so freaking hot outside i don't know if i want to do my outdoor walk after dinner because i've been doing that daily like around 7 p.m i've been going for like a 45 minute to an hour walk but it's so hot right now so hopefully it cools down a little bit more later because girl that is not for me here is my nail setup you guys i have everything that i need to use right now and then i have vanderpump rules on my laptop let me know if you watch vanderpump rules i'm currently on season four and i just like to play this like in the background while i'm doing something cooking cleaning or doing my nails i got pretty much everything off of amazon um i can link it if you guys are interested at all but i have my dehydrator my primer my base coat my um nail color and then my top coat and i already have my nails like filed and all that stuff i did it yesterday i think so i don't really need to do that i already cut my cuticles so i just really need to put the polish on nails are done you guys they came out super cute just like this light lavender lilac color now i need to start making dinner i am gonna make some like chicken teriyaki meatballs or some sort of like asian sauce meatballs with a side of like sesame noodles i've never made that before but i found a couple of recipes on pinterest so i want to try them so i'm gonna show you guys
here is the final result. <laughs> it honestly looks like spaghetti and meatballs, but like Asian inspired or Asian style. Um, now I just need to taste it and see how it came out. The noodles were like, I don't know. Okay, let's see the chicken. Chicken's pretty good. It tastes very gingery. Now the noodles. They're good, but they're not anything special. Kind of like these noodles a little more than the lo mein because the lo mein is more like the texture is a little different. And a little thicker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will link the recipes for you guys if you want to try it yourself. It's pretty good. It's different. I've never made this before, so. And it's two separate recipes. I just combined them. I made the noodles and the chicken and just put it all together. I am officially ready for bed, you guys. I just finished my skincare, brushed my teeth and all the good stuff. I'm honestly pretty tired. It's already like 9 p.m. So I'm definitely ready to get... What? <laughs> so I'm definitely ready to get into bed and just chill. Probably watch like a show or read my book or something. But thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.